Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about the Zeta and the task uh, tied to it called Devil's Dozen. So basically what you need to do is kill 13 players within uh, one life. So you can't die and you have to kill 13 players basically. And uh, I wanted to approach you guys with a build that's viable for that mission. So hopefully you will manage to make that mission happen to get those medals and be done with the uh, task. As you can see here I only activated like four different nodes and uh, it cost me about 290 evolution points so any other node will kind of top over rank 11 and that means I will face a lot of stronger ships which uh, by design I guess by the matchmaker will kind of land me in the rank range of rank 11 to 17 and those ships are not so easy to deal with especially if uh, you get bots as enemies so this is probably the optimal um, optimal build for doing that task so as for the actives and passives here we go on the engines I have top teleportation sphere which is basically used for dodging plasma arcs, covered ops and uh, any ship that's really dangerous up close. The capacitor and the CPU are only serving a purpose in terms of uh, damage. So rate of fire, uh, damage output, extra damage output and uh, infrared scanner for extra critical chance because I'm using coil gun. The reason why I'm using coil gun is pretty simple. It's a very precise weapon. If and only if you kind of throttle the trigger, which means uh, tapping the weapon instead of just continuously firing, and with enough projectile speed, you will have uh, enough firepower to kill your targets, maybe small, medium, or uh, I don't know, like frigate size. It's going to struggle against destroyers, but that's due to ha due to destroyers having a lot of um, hit points so there's that so everything here uh, works in a sp specific unison let's go over the specific modules that you have to pay attention to and those are the adaptive shields adaptive membrane and predator's instinct all three function in the same way where you have to go 90 percent of your maximum speed in this case it's 134 that's uh, the maximum speed and you have to deduce what the 90 percent of that speed is but i would just suggest go 134 meters per second and basically enjoy the extra effects that these three give you as for the active modules there's a reason why the plasma turret and plaster turret are so positioned it's there for your own defense and if you didn't know by now, the plasma turret, when activated, goes through objects and deals much more damage than in its passive mode. As for the blaster turret, the passive effect that it has is basically slowing down the maneuverability of your enemies, which makes it convenient for you to kill them when they are basically slowed by your turret. A lot of people have issues with the special module. They don't know how to activate it, how to use it, when to use it. So in this case, I made things a lot simpler. Basically, just stay in the first mode, which is the defense mode, which grants you 100 points of resistance on both hull and shield. That should make it rather easy for you to understand how to use the build. And uh, all in all, to sum up the build, it's basically a ship that regenerates really good. It tanks damage really good, but it doesn't have much to go on for prolonged battles so keep that in mind remember to always withdraw from a battle that you seem to be losing and you have the teleportation sphere to your advantage and the teleportation uh, active like the wormhole projector to save yourself from certain death okay now comes the really interesting part the tricky stuff uh, stuff that most of you won't really agree with me on but try to understand why I did it so for example you probably 
notice that I don't have anything remotely saying that okay this ship has uh, some sorts of energy regeneration well as you can s clearly see it doesn't have so the base value when it comes to energy region is 275 which is kind of nominal when you think about it but it's not so easy when you kind of you kind of rely on the whole regeneration thing so to make that happen to make that work you really need that energy capacitor at high all the time so max energy capacitor has to be always there to provide that regeneration ability now to make that work I figured out a neat way to uh, make it happen so 7c is the reason why this build could be your favorite low rank build at this point because it turns your massive tanky shields of a destroyer into a nice source of energy while you're battling and if that's not enough all you have to do is wait out for that regeneration to kick in and you will always have energy to keep yourself sustained within a battle now the other thing is the 8c implant which basically gives you the ability to cancel any energy siphoning from your ship for 15 whole seconds by activating a multipurpose module and of course 10b to alleviate the energy consumption of your active modules. That's pretty much the Zeta build that I wanted to show you guys and probably help some of you that had issues with uh, getting that task done. So I hope this video is helpful. If you find it helpful, let me know. Uh, if you have any other issues like uh, this task or any other uh, mechanics or whatever issue that might stumble upon you in this game let me know in the comment section and uh, i don't know like subscribe the usual youtube stuff see you out there